Hi everyone. Do you know what tonight is? It's Friday night. Guess what time it is. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back for another Friday night, another wine diary series. Tonight I am using some wine I'm trying to, I've got all this new wine coming in, but I've got old wine that I really need to either make sure it's still good, so I need to have a little taste and finish it if it's good, and dump it down the drain if it's bad. So this is actually from Reclaimed Vines. I'm having the wine Daniel. I bought this back in August of 2021. I I think this is the last bottle that I have from them so if I was in the mood that day more weeks before or whatever in August and I was in the mood for a wine that tasted like creamsicle they had one so I got that I got a peach vanilla wine I got I forgot what else I got it's been a while but I've had this one in the refrigerator for a while so this one is called Daniel it's named after one of their sons it's a family owned business they are out of Huntington, Pennsylvania. Again, that's a name, Reclaimed Vines. And I know it's a sweet wine, but it says it's a Pennsylvania diamond wine. So we'll have to find out a little bit more about it. Um, on their website, it does let you know that they were the 2019 Reader's Choice Award winner from the Daily Press. And they just have some really nice wines. Most of them, they average between 11 and $20, so not that expensive. I believe um, I purchased six, and when you purchase six, you get uh, free shipping. Free shipping is good because we all know shipping is crazy. Alrighty, so looking forward to trying this. Does it tell me the alcohol content? It probably does. It's 12% alcohol, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I do have some snacks. Not sure how long they're gonna last because of Mr. Griffin's over there. Yeah, I think he's I think he's eyeballing my snacks. So we have got that like onion blossoms like you get from the outback. I haven't had them in years. So we've got some nice thick battered onion rings with their dipping sauce. I got a couple of cra crab rangoons that are stuffed with some cream cheese. And in case I want something a little hotter. I've got some jalapeno poppers with cream cheese. So that is my snacks, probably more than I need, but looking forward to having them. And I'm gonna try to stand up and show you my dress. I did get a couple more of these dresses. I am hooked on these dresses, but I think I'm going to shut myself off. No more dresses. So anyway, I've got my hat on from Amazon again. Got some jewelry here from Shane, jewelry from Shane. And the dress, it's one of those halter dresses again, like that rockabilly dress. So it's kind of flared out. I got my petticoat underneath again. This is black with sunflowers. It's got that sweetheart neckline. And a little satin ribbon here. And this one, this dress has that lace bottom too. And of course I've got my petticoat on underneath. So every time I walk by something, I knock it over. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's get into the wine. So hoping it's still good, but if it isn't, then I've got plenty more, so I'm not worried about it. Got my handy dandy opener. This comes in so handy. I guess that's why they call it a handy dandy opener. So again, it's a Pennsylvania diamond wine, so I don't know exactly what that is. I got my Robin with a Y wine glass. So she's wearing a black dress. She's got on a cowboy hat. She's got all kinds of bling. I've got all kinds of bling on me. So I hope everyone had a great week. I'm so excited. I have got Mr. Griffin here. He is just such so fun. We were outside again tonight. My feet. I'm so glad that we spray for mosquitoes because my feet are so bitten from the mosquitoes outside. Yeah, we, we got something in the peony bushes. It's driving him crazy. 
I could not see it in the dark, so I roped him in, and then I went out with my flashlight, and I didn't see anything, but he was growling, and I guess I'm just lucky it was not a skunk, because we would have both been in trouble. Anyway, here you go. Cheers, everyone. It just kind of has a sweet taste, or scent. Okay, cheers. Mmm. It is still good. It reminds me it is sweet, but it's good. I think it's going to go perfect with those snacks. It's nothing that I would want to have with a dinner wine or anything like that, which is something heavy. I think like those papas, so it's just going to really be a really nice mixture. I'm trying to decide what it tastes like. It's something I, I know I've had in the past. It's on the idea of the honey wine that I love from Wine Haven Winery in Chisago. It's got that sweet taste, like an aftertaste, like this honey in here, like a nice mead wine. But it also reminds me of like, this is not a really good comparison, but I'm thinking of like a children's wine juice where it's sweet, but it's tasty at the same time. And then mixed with adult honey wine. Yeah, like I said, it's nothing I would probably want to have with my dinner. My hat's falling off my head. I don't know why. But I think it's going to be perfect for appetizers. There. That's not going anywhere now. So it's going to be perfect with these appetizers and with that dipping sauce. But anyway, I am so glad that you guys stopped in to visit. You guys are amazing and you mean so much to me. And we all know, of course, it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. So anyway, this is Reclaimed Vines. Um, they really do have some nice wines. They've got the creamsicle wine that I got. And again, I bought this in August of 2021. So this has been in my wine cooler all this time. And it's it's still nice and fresh. Um, the one that I was looking for was that creamsicle wine. And when I had it on that August night when it came in, and it was, uh, we were outside and it was hot. And it was humid and the air conditioner had died and it was steamy. And... Um, yeah, and it just really tasted really nice. It was like a nice creamsicle. And then the next night, of course, the, the electricity was back on. The air conditioner was running. It was nice and cool. I, whatever. I didn't go outside. But I had it inside the house. And it was like, what was I thinking? This isn't that good. I don't even know if I like it. But I was too cheap to throw it out. And then the next night, it was hot and humid again. And so I went out on the deck, took some creamsicle wine with me. And it was perfect. So I don't know if wines... The tip, the taste is affected by the weather or how you're feeling or what you're eating, but it was really different. And so the, the next time I put it back in the refrigerator and I waited for another night that it was just a regular night, not hot, not humid. And I had it in the house and I didn't like it, but when it's hot and humid, it was perfect outside. Um, what else did I have? I, I had the vanilla wine. I had, I've, oh, I've still got some in the refrigerator. The Harlots, Charlotte's Hot Bum wine different name that is but i mean you can only just have like a little bit at a time that is hot that one is hot but anyway i'll leave some information below they just really sound like a really nice place their tasting room is open so you can go in for tasting flights or buy by the glass you can buy the bottles there if you go with a partner that is not a wine drinker they do have beer on tap I'm not sure if they have snacks or not, but I know they have events. So yeah, I would love to be able to go to a place like that. It just looks like a lot of fun. And again, it's a small family-owned business. And the wines are named after some of their beloved family members. And Christmas wines. And Fourth of July wines. And just all kinds of fun wines. So anyway, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. And we will all talk again in our next video. Love you guys. Bye.